graph and write characteristics of the given function. The function is 2 to the power of absolute x minus 2 plus 1. So we have exponential equation with absolute exponent. Okay. Now, well, one of the ways to graph it is to make table of values and then sketch the graph. So let's try to make a table of values first. Okay. Now here, let's say, let's consider x equals to 2. That will give us 0, right? And then we'll go from there. So let's say x equal, these are my x values and this is my f of x. Now if my x value is 2, then what do I get? So 2 minus 2 is 0. 2 to the power of 0 will be 1 and 1 plus 1 will be 2, correct? Now how about x as 3? If I put 3, then 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, and 2 plus 1 is 3. If I write 4 here, then 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 square is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. If I have 5 here, then I have 5 minus 2 is 3, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. Okay, now let's go this side. If I have 1 here, then 1 minus 2 is minus 1, but absolute value of minus 1 is 1, so we again get 2, and 2 plus 1 is 3, so we get 3 here, right? How about 0? If I write 0 here, then it's 2 to the power of minus 1 absolute, minus 2. Minus 2 absolute is 2 plus, so 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. If I write minus 1, then x is minus 1, minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3, absolute value is 3, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 8 plus 1, 9. So do you see we get symmetry here. 2, 3, 5, 9 and 2, 3, 5, 9. Well, fx values are always positive in this case, correct? And um, it seems at this point 2, 2 is kind of gives us line of symmetry. So what we can do now is plot these values on a graph and then see how it looks like. So let's say this is, okay, so let's consider this to be 1 positive, this is 1 negative. And uh, let's start from 2, 2 itself. Okay, so at 2, the value is 2, so it is 2 here. So we have here 1 and here also minus 1, correct. So that's our first point. Then at 3, we have 3. So at 3, we have 3. So that's the next value. At 4, we have 5. So at 4, the value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's write down 5 here. It helps. And at 5, it is 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say this is 5. 9. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Good. And as we go on this side, that means at 1, it is 3. So at 1, it is 3. At 0, it is 5. We get it here, right? At minus 1, it is 9. It's symmetrical. So like that, correct? And so on. It will go, correct? So, and let's join these points, right? To get a graph, correct? So that is how our function is going to look like, kind of like this, correct? Now that's, this is f of x, okay? Now what characteristics do you see here? Well, we see that there is a line of symmetry here and the line of symmetry is like at x equals 2. 2, right? So line of symmetry is at x equals to 2. So we have x equals to 2 will give us the line of symmetry. So the function is decreasing from minus infinity to 2 and just increasing from 2 to infinity. The function is always positive, right? Always positive. And uh, what else? End behavior. So what is the end behavior? As x approaches plus infinity, f of x approaches plus infinity. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches plus infinity. Correct? So that's the end behavior. 
So these and domain is all real numbers and the range is x greater than or equal to 2. Do you see that? So that value is 2 for us. So these are the characteristics of the given function. So what we can write here, some of our characteristics and these are, let me just put a line here and then we'll write down the characteristics here as first trick domain is x belongs to real numbers, right? There are no restrictions, correct? Range y belongs to real numbers, but y is greater than or equal to 2. Is it okay? Now, end behavior, end behavior is x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity. And as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches positive infinity. Got it? And it is increasing interval and decreasing interval, we'll say. Increase from increases from 2 to infinity, right? And decreases from minus infinity to 2, correct? It has now, if you see rate of change all along, see, because the shape is like this, you see rate of change. Let's discuss rate of change of this function. That's kind of important, right? Here is negative, very negative, less negative, zero, positive, more positive. Do you see? So what we see here is rate of change. is always increasing. Correct? It goes from very negative to zero to positive to high positive value. Do you see that? That's very important characteristics of this. And we see a symmetry, right? We say x equals to 2 is line of symmetry. These are some of the characteristics which we can summarize for the given function. Okay? Fine. Thank you.